Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.30 on this Tuesday. Um, today's topic is the uh, the flying Silenops spider. Way too early. Or that Higgs protozoans bathe the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? Um, so the Selenop spider, uh, so first of all, it doesn't actually fly. <laughs> it glides. Uh, but you know, most people know spiders, uh, and I've heard of jumping spiders, and of course there's the crawly spiders, spiders that spin webs, spiders that, um, will, will, will spin a single strand of web, and hold it off into the air and the air will capture it and they'll float along in the wind. I've heard of spiders that that uh, spin a, actually an elaborate sail um, and capture the wind and, and sail along either along water or in the air again. Um, but not not a gliding spider and so I guess uh, I guess really no no one's really thought of spiders as gliding, uh, but recently a scientist found that the Silenops variety of spider, which is a spider down in I guess it's South America, but I think there's I think there's a variant of it in Africa too. Oh, uh, it's a tree. It's a tree spider, um, so it lives in the trees uh, because if it ever did hit the ground it uh it'd be eaten up by predators and so it, it avoids the ground and it stays in the trees and so because it's a tree spider they've sort of adopted this ability to uh, you know if if they ever jump out of the tree or fall out of the tree they need to get back to the tree because if they hit the ground they're they're pretty much toast so um, they've developed this method to glide back to the tree trunk um, that they fell out of and also maybe they you know to, to descend rapidly they maybe they you know base dive off the tree and, and then <laughs> glide back to the tree um, so the the Silenops spider I think they're about yay big which is creepy enough as it is uh, they're also really flat um, and they're super fast, I guess, uh, when they're not flying, when they're just on their legs or whatever. Um, so yeah, the the Silenop spider developed this thing for gliding, and the scientists, you know, first discovered gliding ants and other insects, and then they discovered these flying spiders, and they started doing experiments. <laughs> they wanted to see. Um, I guess they captured, in one experiment, they captured 50 of these spiders and they dropped them off the tree intentionally to see how they, you know, how they did it, how they got back to the trunk. They, they, you know, spiders have eight legs and their two forward legs, they would do something to the left side if they wanted to glide to the left, do something to the right leg if they wanted to glide to the right. So they are controlling their descent, controlling their glide, um, being able to steer a little bit um, you know if they get dropped upside down they're like a cat they can write themselves pretty instantaneously uh, so you know they've, they've got they've got this sense um, to be able to maneuver in the air uh, which is kind of strange to think about for a spider so you know they you start you start thinking well um, is aerial orientation and aerial um, gliding or manipulation is that a, an instinct um, nowhere in the spider's ancestry have they uh, found gliding or flying or ability to fly uh, so you know it raises a lot of questions of well were animals flying before wings came about did, did wings 
uh, sort of start the flying craze, like, you know, we're, we're animals just doing whatever, and then they evolved to have wings, and then they figured out flight. Maybe not. Maybe, you know, maybe some animals were, were gliding already, whether they had wings or not, and then, so as just as a basic instinct, and then uh, wings came along, and so they did better at that instinct of flight it's kind of interesting um but that that's sort of you know that's not something that this experiment would necessarily answer the experiment is just to see how well the spiders glide um how they get from from where they're at to where they want to go so they don't get eaten up on the floor um but but it is interesting to think about evolutionary processes and um instincts of of survival. This really is a survival because again if if the spider hits the ground there's a lot of predators on the ground that'll just gobble them up. So they stay in the trees to get to keep away from the predators. So there you have it. The flying it's not flying. The the gliding Solenops spider. Uh if you ever go to these forests just watch out. Don't get hit in the head with this gliding spider. <laughs> All right, I got to head off to work. You got to go to Whatever it is you do, uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.